Let's tell you the story of one of the greatest romantic love triangles of the 19th century. A story of secret passion, forbidden love, madness, and death that would become the direct inspiration for some of the greatest chamber music works of all time. Our story begins with Clara Wieck. As a young child, she had daily piano lessons with her father, one of the most celebrated and demanding piano pedagogues of the day. By age 18, Clara had blossomed into a truly stellar piano virtuoso who was already performing all over Europe to tumultuous acclaim. Clara was even a composer in her own right. She was one of the first women in the 19th century to widely perform her own works, one of which is this lovely set of three romances, Opus 11, for violin and piano. By age 18, Clara had also blossomed into a beautiful young woman who caught the attention of a fellow piano student of her father's, the young and passionate pianist and composer, Robert Schumann. Robert and Clara fell instantly in love, and despite the deep disapproval of her father, who threw Robert out of the house, they were married. Over the next year, in an incredible burst of compositional genius, Robert focused on the chamber music repertoire, writing three string quartets, a piano quintet, and the piano quartet in E flat major. Ten years pass. With the famous Clara by his side, Robert becomes well known all over Europe as a composer, and even more influential as the publisher of the Neue Zeitschrift für Musik, a new music magazine dedicated to the ideals of Romanticism and the music of the future. But underneath, things are not going so well. Secretly, Robert battles an ever more serious mental illness as well as a deep resentment that Clara's fame and success are more real than his, as his compositions continue to generate criticism and disapproval from the public at large. On the momentous day of September 30th, 1853, a handsome 20-year-old pianist from Hamburg appeared unannounced on the doorstep of the Schumanns carrying a letter of recommendation from the famous violinist Josef Joachim. Robert was not at home that day, but a surprised Clara welcomed him in. This young hero was the as yet unknown Johannes Brahms. And as the days passed, he amazed Clara and Robert by playing his own new compositions for them on their living room piano. The days turned to weeks, and by the end of the year, this inseparable musical trio had become fast friends. The influential Robert took young Johannes under his wing and shocked the world by writing in his magazine that this young Brahms was the chosen one who was destined to give ideal expression to the times. But secretly, the young Brahms has fallen passionately in love with Clara Schumann. And although she responds to his feelings, she is still deeply in love with Robert. One can only imagine the emotional torment that Brahms is going through at this time. On one hand, he is still very loyal to his friend and mentor, Robert. But on the other, it is his best friend, Robert, who stands in the way of him truly expressing his feelings for Clara. For the next three years, Robert increasingly battles insanity, hallucinations, suicide attempts, until finally he begins falling apart. Clara, torn by love for two men, is at her wit's end trying to save her husband and her family as Robert spirals into madness and ultimately death. 
Did Clara and Johannes consummate their tainted passion? Or did the shadow of Robert forever hold them apart, unfulfilled? Their letters to each other burned. Only the music remains to tell us the answer. Thank you.